Hey guys, I'm Whitney. I'm Chloe. And we're here with writing and publishing giant Nat Gertler. How's it going, Nat? Oh, going pretty well. Having a good convention. Awesome. Um, so congratulations on your two-time Eisner Award nomination. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, I was a, a nominee, which is something to be proud of. I wasn't a winner, so I'm a little bit of a loser, too. It balances out. <laughs> Well, it's, it's awesome just to get nominated, isn't it? It's oh. huge. I, I always like uh, having recognition of any sort. <laughs> I would be stoked. So, uh, this is your most recent book, and you're possibly best known for, for publishing, publishing Peanuts books. Is that correct? Well, I published some of the works of Char non-Peanuts works of Charles Schultz. This is a book that I did for another publisher. Cool, cool. And this is um, the Peanuts collection. And tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's a complete history of Peanuts. It covers the strip, the TV show, the uh, TV uh, specials, the movies, the music, wow. the, the products, uh, the characters. It tries to capture the whole thing in a fancy, dancy hardcover uh, slip case and with removable things. There's trading cards in there, there's stickers, there's uh, little booklets you can open. It's, it's, it's a really nifty, interactive book. So rad. Have you seen the Peanuts musical? I was just going to ask him that. Uh, uh, the Your Good Man, Charlie Brown? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I've, I've been in it. I've, I played Linus in, in one. Yeah. So can you sing? No. We won't, we won't I, ask you to sing. I, you yes, to I sing. appreciate that. I don't think I not, not sing. I apparently couldn't dance without moving my lips. Uh. So uh, I not necessarily it wasn't the best choice, but I was in it nonetheless. That's awesome. Now let's talk about your next comic book we have here. It's The Factor. The, the Factor was the thing that got me my first Eisner nomination. Cool. It's a superhero series in which you never see the superhero because oh. it's not about him. It's about the impact he has on other people. So it's about the man on the street, the the reporters trying to cover his existence, the cop who is dealing with the fact that uh, everybody's going, the hero is great, the hero is wonderful, while well, he's putting his own butt on the line every day and getting no respect. So it's the different angles. It's If you want a story about how the hero beats the villain, that's been done two or three times before. You can get that somewhere else. If you, want, if you want the story about the other people in the panel, the other people in the background, this is the series. Awesome. That sounds so cool. And finally, or not, or not finally, we have... I like, I like the title of this one. The Complete Idiot's Guide to Creating a Graphic Novel. Yes, I've written a lot of books for the Idiot's Guide folks, and they came to me and said, we like your writing, what else do you know about? I said, comics and graphic novels, and they responded, graphic novels, we've been hearing a lot about that lately. We don't know what it means, but we're interested. So I, I hooked up with Steve Lieber, the Eisner Award winning artist, and we came up with a book that is a complete guide to creating graphic novel from coming up the concept, plot, characters, character designs, the script, pencils, inks, letters, colors, even finding a publisher or publishing yourself. And in fact, in the book, we take one short segment of a graphic novel and show it at all, the, at all those stages except for colors. And so you can see how the whole path works. Do you have any quick tips for somebody who wants to start out and create a graphic novel? Uh, don't be trying to write some graphic novel you've already read. There's an awful lot of stuff out there that's like, oh, this is my Watchmen, this is my this, this is my that. Do your, your thing. Uh, there's, there's too many people trying to already do Watchmen, and besides, it's already been done really well once. We don't need another one. Very good point. Let's look at the last book you have here. It's Licensable Bear. <laughs> I like it. Licensable Bear is the little bear who just wants to be licensed for products. <laughs> he wants to be on your hat, and he wants to be on your backpack, and he wants to be on your underwear, but he tries to avoid saying it that way. Uh, it's what, really what most cartoon characters exist for these days. He's just the one who's honest about it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. That's cute. So do you think there will be some licensable bear products in the future? <laughs> well, there already there already have been. There already been, been a, a, a few th things produced, and we licensed them out for a while to a chain of comic shops to use as their official spokes critter. Ah. So, you know, he's, he gets work, you know. He always wants a little more, mind you, but he, he's out there. He's adorable. Good for you. Yeah, he's cute. Sweet. Well, thank you so much for taking the time with us, and yeah, thanks, guys. This is awesome. Thank, thank you. you for talking to me. <laughs>